Hey guys, welcome to Pizza Reviews. Today uh, we're going to be looking at how to set this guy up on a phone. We're going to be looking at an Android phone. Uh, I'll show you uh, how to get the QR code going because uh, on the booklet here it doesn't say what app it should be used with. So uh, make sure your uh, watch is fully charged or close to it. Um, so you can kind of do it without, uh, if it needs an upgrade or update, uh, you can kind of go through all that stuff. So first things first, uh, you'll need to open up your instruction manual and on there, almost every other page you see a QR code. There's quite a few of them in here, uh, different languages. So let's just go for the first one. Um, this one's in German, but let's just pick the English one right here. So if you have an iPhone, um, you'll want to open up the, the camera app on your iPhone. When you open up the camera app, it will read that QR code and then just click on the QR code and it takes you to the website. Um, so here's the address of the website. I uh, will leave this in for a second. If you guys want to type that in, um, it gives you the option to download the software. We're not going to do it on the iPhone because we're going to set up the Humidigi A11 Pro Max with this. Um, so we're going to see how all this stuff works. So when you open up the camera app, open up in here, it does it does nothing. So we're going to have to download a QR code reader first. Um, so let's do that. So we'll go to the Play Store, type in QR code scanner, and any of these will work. So let's just pick the first one. Make sure we'll install that. Continue. Skip. Okay, let's open that up. Not sure. We'll use this app. So here's a code barcode scanner. And let's just visit focus on that guy and not doing anything here. Okay, so after the second page, um, I'm not sure why this first one doesn't work. Um, maybe this app's kind of buggy, but um, yeah, this one doesn't. Uh, oh no, it does work as well. So make sure you have it pulled it open. So we got that open. Let's open that up. Okay, so it's got the uh, Perry Active Health Support app and. Seems to be pretty close to that. So let's go download. See what happens. So it takes you to the link. Um, there's the app in the Google Play Store. Very active. So let's just install that. So it's installed. Let's open it up and see what we got here. So let's allow the GPS while well using the app. Sure, while well, using the app, access to your media, park the music player, let's allow that. Uh, location, uh, let's go to others. There's two, two settings here. It's asking us to log in here. Okay, can we skip to this or not really? I guess it's asking to register, so it's asking us to register. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'll register with us. So uh, I just use the temporary email address and for the password we'll just go test one, two, three, four. So it's asking for the email address, it's asking for, for a code. Um, so yeah, we'll just register for that. Um, so not now. Uh, let this app run in the background. Sure, let's allow that. Okay, so um, it's got some sort of a pretty similar interface to the other app they had. But uh, let's pair the device, I guess. Um, so let's go add now. Okay, so I'll go smartwatch. And it's got a few smartwatches here to pick from. So it's got a Sports Urn, Sport Urn S, the U Watch 5, CT2, W20, W20 Max. So this is the urn. Let's go to the next step. Oh, 
Let's go, okay, picture, okay, next up. Nickname. Watch. You can write whatever you want, you have 10 characters. Uh, I guess you have to select this, so let's go male. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's pick an arbitrary date in the 1980s. Close enough. It's asking for the height, it's fine. Next step, asking for the weight. Next step, it's asking me for the region. Uh, so we'll go for North America. Let's go Canada, completed. Trump Bluetooth, okay. So let's follow the directions here. So I guess you have to long press the physical button on the right side and wait for the device to start binding. Oh, I guess it was already on. Okay, we just shut this off by accident, okay. okay next up. Okay, there you go, I actually found it. Hopefully it's ours, not the neighbors. So let's click on that guy. So it's pairing. Okay. So I feel this guy vibrating. Okay, view now. So it's synchronizing data. It's got 100% battery life. So both these devices are brand new, basically. Um, both the both the watch and the uh, and the phone. I haven't watched well, use the phone much, so. so you can all synchronize here. So I just exit out of it and come back into it. Um, so it's got a sleep of 28 minutes. I've never used this watch. I'm not sure why it's got 128 minutes of sleep. Um, so I guess there's a couple other things to add here. See what we can actually do with the device here. So in the home, we got today's data. Uh, it's got the steps, the blood oxygen. I guess that changes. Uh, let's see in the device. You can add more devices in the ranking there's other ranks I guess here uh, let's see if we can actually do anything with this let's go my device so I guess you can calibrate the heart rate you can change the heart rate to be all day uh, I can calibrate the blood pressure you can do remote photography which is kind of cool uh, widget and app management so you can add a new alarm clock, you can add notification, device settings. So you got Bluetooth disconnect reminder, do not disturb mode, serenity mode, raise to wake, wearing math, left hand, right hand, water drinking reminder, uh, woman's physical health, medication reminder, which is kind of cool. Pretty much it looks like here. Uh, let's see watch panel settings. Oh, there's the uh, four watch three four watch phases with one active, and we cannot add any more watch faces, which is kind of kind of disappointing to be honest with you guys. But um, yeah, so very basic app. Um, there's not much in here, but anyway, if you guys have any questions concerns. Um, I guess it's giving us the giving us the updates. If you guys have any questions, concerns, feel free to give us a post. Um, otherwise, don't forget to hit the like subscribe button. Thanks.